working with an API is all about getting the right information back from that API that you want, which means filtering those collections of objects. And doing that is not standard from API to API. Different people implement this different ways, and although have been different standards proposed, there is no true standard for how you're going to do that. But there are some basic things that we should expect we can filter on. We should be able to limit the number of objects that get returned in that collection. We should be able to paginate through those once, once we have those different objects coming back. We should be able to change the sort order. That all manipulates how that collection is returned to you. But then finally, we should be able to filter on individual fields so that we can get the records back that we want. And I'm going to show you how I do it in my own kind of sample environment here. I created a quick API with some recipes in it. And, you know, without any filters, it returns a lot of stuff. So I can limit it to just return one at a time using size equals one. Then I can skip to the next page. Look at the second record. These are being returned in date order. So the first one was the oldest record. This is the second oldest record. If I wanted to go look at the newest records, I can change the sort order to descending. And now because I have that page one in there, and by the way, we start counting at zero, page zero, page one, I'm now looking at the second oldest object being returned. But say I want to filter it on something specific like bread. Now I happen to have this recipe's name equals bread. So it matches that record. But there's nothing that says you can't also include wildcards. And in my case, I use an asterisk to denote, go ahead and do a substring search. So it's going to match on anything with the string bread included in it. And then I can page through and sort those just like anything else. The thing is, API filters should be pretty simple to use. They should let you control the kinds of objects that come back and the collections. And it should be something you can just do on the query parameters and not make overly complicated. Thanks.